Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Victor507 with 1,141 rating versus actually Toast with 1,175 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in, and then we are going to go ahead and we are going to see Victor when the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they are going to go ahead and decide to go second, 40 versus 41, That that's all three today! That, I've recorded, this is the third replay I've recorded today, and that's the third person that has decided to go second. That's insane. An entire day of going second. Uh, opening hands, we have Ray, Meister, Desires, Nib, and Valor, so they have multiple hand traps. You know, it's Striker, of course, they're choosing to go second. And then they have Valor, Nocto, Chamber, Gamma, and Chaos Space. The thing is, is that they're going to get hit with Nib, Meister, which is the same as, like, Nib, Ash, because you're going to go ahead and stop the seal effect. Chaos space, get rid of Valor, and then go search out Black. And then normal summon out Chamber, and then, you know, Chamber, go grab Trap. So this is, like, really good for them. Summon out Striker, Striker, and Nocto effect. So summon that out and go search out the Boot Sector launch. And then get rid of those to summon Romulus. And then you're going to get Nocto and Romulus effect here. So go search out the ravine and then draw into a tidying. And then special summon out black by banishing Valor. And then get rid of those to go for seal. Black to go search out white. Then activate ravine. Ravine effect, discard tidying to go dump. And then you're gonna go dump abs. Abs effect to go search, grabbing tracer here. So, yeah, like, they're just going to get hit by Nib Meister. And how much they put into this board before getting hit with Nib will, you know, depend on how much they can get out of it after they get hit with Nib. Pop, bring out Rocket Synchron, Banish Black, Special Summon out White. And then on the summon, they're going to go ahead and drop Nib before the Chaos Space can get used there. So, tribute everything. And then... Now pass over a token, seal effect, set think on position. Okay, well now they're moving the zone. Uh, but either way you're gonna meister the seal and then activate chaos space, put back black, draws into the third tiding. Wow, um it's unfortunate. Tiding summon out chamber, and then go for Pisty, set and pass. Draw Widow, then activate Desires, go ahead and banish 10. Yeah, this is going to be pretty hard for Striker to lose here. Like, honestly, just like a Ray is huge. They banish like Hornet. It's only like one of they banish there. Draws in the Valor Ray. Hey, Ray, Valor, Valor, Ray. And then Normal Summon out the Ray. And then turn those into a Zeke. And activate Zeke to out the token, go for Hayate, and then battle phase, attacking Pisty, tiding to do the bounce, ray effect, chain gamma, bring out driver. But even as like the striker player here, you're you're like, okay, I'm okay with this. You know, you have three monster negates plus a ray for the follow-up. And then pass, they draw chaos space. So it's not doing anything. Tiding, summon out chamber, and then get rid of chamber, go for Pisty, battle phase attack directly. So they're just kind of hoping that they don't have anything. Also, if you're wondering why they went for Pisty, it's because Tiding will bounce this back during the end phase, so then they won't have a drag in the target. Then normal summon out Ray, and they admit defeat, so Going on to game two, we are going to see dragons be going first. Opening hands, we have Widow, Phantasma, Cosmic, Meister, and Mind. So, you, know, you can't complain about this. They don't have like a ray or anything yet. Um, then they have Valor, Rocket Synchron, Abs, Quick Launch, Gozen. Gozen can be extremely good. They do have Cosmic though. And the thing with Gozen is that you flip this card during like the standby phase a lot of the time. So that way they can't like normal summon out ray and tag out. But I guess that wouldn't actually really matter. So you could just like hold it. Uh, normal summon, special summon. Um, 
let's see, are they going to go for Pepega? Also, though, like, the reason why I brought that up is because, like, Cosmic would be able to deal with it no matter what, but if this card is, like, set, then Cosmic can't affect a set because of Nocto, if they get to Nocto, which, you know, a lot of them play three of it now, uh, so it really wouldn't surprise me if they hit it here. They're going to get Abs and Pepega Ruler, so go search out Tracer, and then Mill 5. They hit Chaos Space, there's the Nocto, Tracer, so they're going to go ahead and grab back Chaos Space. Yeah, that's a misclick. <laughs> Uh, grab Nocto. Imagine if this could grab any of the five cards it hits. That would. Like, this card's already insane. Like, it would be so good. Activate Quick Launch, bring out Rocket Synchron, and then they are going to. Alright, so it looks like they're uh, not trying to commit too much here. Otherwise, they could have, uh, like, kept going there. They could have ended on, like, you know, Seal Hot Red at the least. And then set, pass, draw shark. Go ahead, cosmic, target the back row. They're going to chain it. And then chain seal to bounce the goes in. And then seal effect. They are going to yeah, summon out chamber. Not meistering that. You must be chill. I type M. Bro, you can't just type M. Like... That M doesn't mean anything. You gotta type... Why type M when you could type K? If, like... It's so... Like, M is right next to K. I'm literally looking at a keyboard, right? Why not just hold M and then type enter to go, hmm, instead of M? That looks like this should have just been K, right? From their perspective? Or type out think? Yeah, you can't really blame them there. I probably would have done the same thing. And then set shark, set widow... Go ahead, pass, draw a levy. Then they're going to go ahead, banish lights and darks to bring out levy. And then levy effect chain link one, nocto effect chain link two, widow chain link three. Uh, which, you know, they're okay with. Uh, obviously, they would have rather had this go through and pop the back row. And then normal summon out tracer, battle phase, go ahead and swing. Uh, I mean, they could have used this to try to go for game there. Go for seal. And then they're going to get Nocto effect. Chain link one, Phantasme, chain link two, Shark Cannon, chain link three. And then that's going to target the Rocket Synchron to go ahead and banish that. So now both Rocket Synchrons are banished. So summon out. Draw on the multi roll and imperm, and then they're going to put back the imperm, and then Nocto lets them draw on the black. Then get rid of Tracer for Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect, go search out the boot sector launch. Then Striker to pop, you know, add back Tracer. Then activate boot. Boot effect, summon tracer, and then tracer effect, popping boot, summon out, recharger from the deck, then get rid of those to go for savage in defense, and then, oh, never mind, an attack, it misclicked, and then equip, set goes in, pass, draw nib, and then they're gonna activate multi rule. Yeah, Savage negating that. Then go Battle Phase, Phantasme, Attack Seal, Seal Effect to bounce. They're going to bounce Striker. And then Seal Effect to summon out from deck. And then this is going to bring out Saferd. And then Phantasme, Attack the Savage, Main Phase 2, Activate Mine. And then Pass, Draw Chaos Space. And then activate chaos space effect, put back seal to draw, and then they're gonna draw into a ravine. It's crazy, like all this could have been prevented. They just Pepega Ruler effect, banish Valor, banish something from graveyard. But I guess they had shark cannons, so like 
But, like, they didn't know they had shark cannons, so, like, they could have tried it. And they would have been at four summons, too, because it would have been Papega, Nocto, Levy, Tracer. I guess they were just, like, really trying to play around this card. Maybe. Uh, they also know they're on, like, Meister, so they could have Meister stopped it. So, maybe they just wanted to, like, keep Valor. And then draw Imperm. And then set Imperm pass. Um, we're just going to skip here until something happens. Uh, set goes in cosmic go ahead hit that they don't want it to be tiding draws engage okay there we go so activate engage and then this is going to search out from the deck array and then draws into upstart upstart in the terraforming and then activate terraforming to go grab mystic mine set thinking here they're going to activate Imperm on Seal. And then Normal Summon Out Ray. Get rid of it for Kagari. Kagari effect. Uh, target multi roll. Chain Valor on that. And then go for Hayate. Battle phase. Attack. Seal effect. You know, tag out. Um, doesn't bounce anything. It's negated. And then Chamber effect to go search. And then they're going to go search out Tiding. And then attack over tiding because it's zero zero because of seal. Hayate affect the dump. Um, I mean, does it? Yeah, they're just gonna go ahead and pass. Um, I mean, they're only at eight hundred here. Vanish, go ahead and summon out. Battle phase attack over for game. So going on to game three. We are going to see dragons be forced to go first. Opening hands, we have Nib, Ray, Ash, Imperm, Phantasmi. Wow, this hand's insane. And they have Abs, Tracer, Ash, Boot, and Chaos Space. So they're going to start off with Chaos Space and Ash Blossom that. And then activate the Abs effect to go search. So that was definitely uh, like a risky Ash. Like if they hit you with Gamma, like that's really, really bad for you. When you could just like hold off and nib ash them then uh, the abs is going to go search out rocket synchron normal summon effect special summon back and that's going to bring out the abs and then slap those two into papega ruler papega ruler effect chain imperm to stop that then they're just going to pass turn um Okay, if they wanted to, they could have like boot, summon out tracer, tracer effect, pop itself, bring out rocket synchron, and then go for like hot red. Uh, they draw pink. And then normal summon out ray, turn that into Hayate, and then go battle phase. And then that's going to attack directly. And then affect the dump. And this is going to be dumping Hornet. And then main phase two, go for Kagari. Kagari effect. Add back Hornet. Then turn Kagari into Shiz. End phase Shiz. So they just didn't want to summon out Pink this turn. Okay. Pass, draw Tiding. Then they're going to go main phase. Normal summon out Tracer. Slap those into a Quad Boral. Uh, they. All right, so they're not going to draw Phantasm. Quad effect on Shiz. I said moment. Did they do that, like, super quick? Yeah, they did it super quick. Uh, they're going to go ahead and try to draw Phantasm. They're going to Ash Blossom that. Um, then activate Quad effect, pop Shiz, summon out Tracer from the graveyard. Uh, they can't summon out two. This is only a, a Link 1. Yeah, battle phase, attack, and then tracer effect, target quad to special summon out recharger, and then get rid of those to go for savage, and then they're going to activate the savage effect, they're thinking on that, because they have summoned out, uh, the normal summoned, and then made quad, Quad pop tracer, tracer, recharger, recharger, tracer, and the savage. So they could drop nib if they wanted to. I was gonna say I feel like you're not going to because you're gonna like turn those off. 
Like, the Savage isn't really a threat here. Pass, draw Meister. Then activate, engage. Savage, negate. Hornet, bring out token. And then get rid of that for Hayate. So deciding to still, like, not drop pink. They're going to hold it. In battle phase, attack directly. Affect the dump. Then they're going to dump from the deck to the graveyard. They're going to dump the afterburners. And then main phase two, go for Kagari. Kagari effect to add back. And then they're going to add back afterburners. And then afterburners pop. Go for shiz. You know, they could have, like, panked, forced savage. And then, like, tried doing these type of things. And they would have ended with, like, multiple negates through it. But end phase, Shiz goes search out for multi-roll. Pass, draw levy. And then activate boot, special summon back out from the graveyard. Go ahead and summon out Tracer. And then they're going to banish darks for levy. And then levy effect to hit a card from hand. They are going to hit Phantasma. Oh, now Meister. Alright, hits multi-roll, hits multi-roll. Uh, activate Chaos Space. That's going to get hit with uh, Meister. Yeah, like they don't have anything here, so you don't want them to draw one. Go ahead and stop them from drawing one. And then they're thinking they're going to go for Striker Dragon. Um, they do have Phantasmae, but they don't have to use it right now. Alright, yeah. It's, it's like they're going to go ahead and do something else, but yeah, you can just drop it there. Draw upstart nib. And then put back. They're going to bring out quad. And then get rid of quad and levy. Go for triple burst. Okay, so go ahead and attack shiz. Um, you know, this will be able to stop Ray. Pass. Draw desires. Alright, let's see. Will a draw three get them back to their engine? Let's look at the banishes. We see a Ray, Rose, you know, multiple widows. Draws into a Veiler and an Ash. Okay. Um, they play the Selene combo. Best game. Not now because they activated Upstart. Ah. Oh, and they see Rota off of it. All right, so they don't play the Selene stuff. Otherwise, they wouldn't have Upstarted. They would have just like normal summoned and gone for it. And then activate Rota. Yeah, go search out Ray. And the opponent just admits defeat there. And then GG's. Oh, they didn't say GG's. I don't know what this means. But we are going to see that the match was only 35 minutes long. Um, Kind of felt longer than that. But, I mean, the striker player opened up really ridiculous game one and three. Like, game one, you know, dragons are not really playing around nib. But, you know, even if they did, I mean, they would have still probably just been hit with, like, Nibmeister. Like, that's a rough combo. Like, Nib Ash, Nibmeister, something to stop the seal graveyard effect plus Nib is rough for dragons a lot of the time. Like, they can still do, like, plays afterwards, but the plays are, like, very decent versus a deck like this. Like, if they go for IP that can make Unicorn, like whatever that actually just like barely affects this deck right like unless that they open up like rose instead of ray or hornet instead of ray like obviously if you go ahead and start off with like normal summon rose and like unicorn hitting that is uh you know it's pretty decent it's pretty decent um compare or like you know hit whatever the whatever link they go for compared to like you know, normal summon out Ray, and this card just doesn't care about Unicorn. You know, if you target the Hayate, cool, we'll bring back, and then, you know, they still have their engine going. But a lot of people were asking for Sky Striker. Like, a lot of people have been asking for this deck because this deck kind of just completely fell off. Completely fell off. Um, so I got a Sky Striker replay here. Also, other replays that I need, you got they they have to be high rated. Uh, I need Despio replays. Um, I'll take more Striker replays. Uh, the B Trooper deck, and uh, I think that's it. And I guess like anything else that's like interesting and high rated. Um, I've been getting sent a lot of Mech Knight replays.
and I'm going to uh, probably gonna end up posting another one of those but I'm gonna wait like a week to post one just because I posted like two in one day I think but with that being said the DB grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe